received at the Flagstaff House by Vice President Kwesiye Misatha. The two leaders in white apparel walked into the president's office minutes ahead of the court proceedings. With the verdict in the offing, Vice President Emisata monitored discussions on TV3 whilst the president worked on his computer. Analysis of TV3's panelists would grab the attention, and soon their faces were beaming with smiles, realizing they were live on TV3. Occasionally, the president and his vice would engage in a tete-a-tete -tete with sipping of tea interspersing it. Few minutes later, the two were glued to their sets, ready for the verdict. The long wait prior to the reading of the court's verdict no doubt sapped the nerves of President Mahama and his viewing party. This was the mood, some 20 seconds to the historic verdict by the nine justices of the Supreme Court, a declaration described only as second to the 6th March 1957 Independence Declaration. the hugging, pattern and involuntary burst into a victory chorus began in earnest. In the midst of all that, President Mahama receives an important phone call. Not long after though, Vice President Kwesibia Kui Emisa Atha confirmed NPP flag bearer Nanado had called to congratulate the President, John Dramani Mahama. The case has been resolved uh, definitively in favor of the President. The losing um, candidate has called to congratulate the President and we hope that everybody now will get on with supporting the President to do the work that he's been elected to do. In pursuance to his call on party supporters and the entire nation, President Mahama remained measured in his celebration of the successful ending to the eight-month legal contest to his legitimacy. The legal team of John Mahama and the NDC were also at the presidency minutes after the declaration.